In this video, we will demonstrate how to render using Redshift on our farm. Our plugin is fully integrated with Cinema 4D and Redshift. That means we have full support for all of Redshift's rendering features. Once you registered on our farm, just download the Render Beamer package and install the Cinema 4D plugin. After setting it up, load the scene into Cinema 4D and start working with the farm. First, Let's take a look at our test scene. This scene is focused on ArcViz interior rendering. As you can see, we have three still shot cameras and five animated ones. Now, let's render those three still shots at 4K resolution. As we may need some extra layers for composition, let's add some additional Redshift AOVs. Just go to the Redshift AOV manager and add as many outputs as you want. Our system will accept all internal AOV settings, including type, denoise switch, multipass, and direct output switches. Once the outputs are added to our scene, just open up the render settings. As we want to render at 4K, we need to increase the resolution. Now, go to Redshift settings. Here, you can prepare everything in the same way as when rendering on our local machine. This includes AOVs and GI engines. Once everything is set, just save the scene. Next, launch our plugin from the extensions menu. Just use Render Beamer, beam it up. The scene will be checked in the background. The checking procedure includes missing textures, all types of caches, proxy assets, low graph animated elements, and many more. Now, in front of the screen, we can see the main plugin window. To proceed with rendering, just leave the checkboxes on for all the needed cameras. Next, set render range to a single frame. You can use any frame from project frame range. Then, use the strip checkbox. Strips rendering will split your single frame rendering into multiple render nodes. Each node will receive one strip to render. You can set the orientation and number of strips. Generally, the more strips that are set, the faster the rendering will be. As this is 4K, let's set 10 strips. When everything is set up as we want, just click on the Send to Farm button. Now, the plugin will start preparing the whole project and forward it to Render Beamer. The data preparation process includes saving the scene with selected render settings, copying and relinking assets including internal assets from Cinema 4D's Asset Tracker, the external Redshift Asset Tracker, and preparing the whole project to farm disk paths. Next, the project data is uploaded to the farm. Once the upload is done, just use the Click Here to Submit Job button. Now, you will be redirected to the Web Manager. As you can see, all the settings are correct. But if you still want to change something like resolution or frame range, this is the last step where you can edit this. Also, on top of the job submission window, you can see the current farm render queue, so it's easier to decide about the rendering priority. If everything is good to go, just click on the submit button. Now the scene will be added to the farm render queue. Every camera is rendered as a separate render job so all the shots can be calculated at once. There are two jobs for each cam, Render and Merge. Merge job is added automatically when strip switch is used. It will connect rendered strips into one single frame. As rendering starts, the job's active status will turn green. Now, just wait for the rendering process to complete. Once rendering is done, just go to Farm Bridge, then Render Beamer. Refresh the download list, select desired outputs, and click on the download button. Once the files are downloaded, just open the output folder and check merged outputs. And here's our renders. As you can see, all still shot cameras are here. Outputs also include multiplast layers. Now, let's go back to our project and render those animated shots. So now let's take a look at animation rendering. In our scene, we have five animated cameras. 
The animation workflow is similar to still shot rendering. There is no need to use camera selector tools with our system as you can set any frame range for each camera. Now let's just tweak some render settings. Now just save the scene and the plugin. Then turn off all three still shot cameras so we can have only cameras 1 to 5 selected as renderable. Next, make sure that you've set the correct render range. You can also change the scene global range with one checkbox, or put different frame ranges for each camera. As we want to test our animation first, let's set the range from 0 to 120 with step 10. Once everything is set and ready to go, click on the send to farm button. Now our plugin will start preparing the scene. Our system will compare the assets list, so if a new render job is rendered from the same project folder, Render Beamer will only upload if it's a new scene file. Once the files are up, just proceed to the scene submission. As you can see, all the cameras are on. Next, just click Submit and check the render queue. Two jobs are already on render nodes. As frames are starting to show up, we can download them and check them locally on our workstation. Now, just open the folder and take a look at the renders. Looks like everything is fine with the test frames. Now we want to render the full render range. Under the right mouse button menu, choose the Render Full Range option. Our system will resume rendering for the whole active scene range but with step set to 1. So now just wait for the render to finish or you can start working on your free workstation. Finally, let's take a look at the final scene with some post-processing. And here we are. We also support Redshift for other major apps such as Maya, 3ds Max, and others. Thank you, and happy rendering with Redshift on GarageFarm.net.